Hello, it's Adele from Inky Quill and I have got another 12 by 12 process video for you on this Mixed Media Monday. And this is a photo of my wedding tables that I made for our wedding. So we, I had collected, I think about 400 pieces of vintage china. I know, you're probably saying Adele, why? <laughs> I wanted a vintage style wedding and I couldn't find anywhere near where I lived that could cater for this so um, I, I had a fair amount myself just in my love of vintage things and um, yeah collected went op shopping thrift shopping and collected up the rest so we had vintage china I collected ornate um, cutlery and we had little books and oh, just all sorts of things so this is a picture, oh, not to mention, uh, you're going to cringe when I say this, we bought a hundred wooden chairs <laughs> um, because I wanted that wooden look. And But it's okay because... And because it was much cheaper. It was so Instead much cheaper. Instead of hiring for like $15 a chair, we bought them for like six. Yeah, or even off the side of the road. Yes. For free. We got some for free. Um, so, yeah, so we've completely recouped our cost of those chairs over the last year um, hiring them out for weddings. Anyway, I'm making this using my August hip kit and I wanted to do a, a strippy type thing on the side. And so I'm using this crepe paper and yeah just making a little a little pleated edge and I find it's really fun to play with the crepe paper um, as in crepe paper not crate paper um, and I just use some of the washi I, I feel bad I used a lot of this washi in this kit to kind of stick things down instead of using it as a decorative feature I think here I might use it as yeah look there we go, using it for decorativeness. Anywho, looking back at it, I did this layout probably about mm, a month ago, maybe more. I'm not actually sure that this is mixed media. I've called it Mixed Media Monday in my labeling, but I'm not sure if it is. So we'll soon see if this isn't actually mixed media, this will be a bonus video for you. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron, I'm not sure if this is mixed media. That's okay. That's okay. We'll watch it anyway. So here using that wood grain because it just tied in with the color of the floorboards of our marquee just perfectly. And using my giant scissors to cut the edges of that off. Yeah, I really don't think this is mixed media. Anywho, using some double-sided tape because I have run out of tape runner and I'm using double-sided tape for everything which is a slow process but it works it works well I recently rediscovered some of my punches so this isn't a very old stamping up one and I'm going to go punch crazy from memory yep and cut a whole heap of half tags or half labels that I'm using as tabs and I really like the way this turned out because I tucked them into the different layers of the paper. You'll see what I mean in a moment. I love that pink fresh paper. It's just gorgeous. And I kind of did it so that you couldn't tell that that was an L. It just looks like a, a stripe. And then my teeny tiny little heart punch. Oh, I love it. That's from Faith. With her big box of goodies that she sent me and just cutting those little hearts out because you can never have enough punched hearts in my opinion and now looking at it i really like that the back of that paper too so this is just some fun craft foam fun foam craft foam um, just attaching that because the only 3d foam tape that i've got at the moment what am i doing oh i got paint all over the foxtel remote <laughs> Do any of you scrap like that? Do you finish scrapping and then look at all of the things that you've covered in mixed media? Because I do. I often cover myself. My, uh, I have a set of pajama pants that are dedicated to my, my mixed media pants. And I put them on when I feel like doing mixed media because uh, the thighs of them are quite colorful. They're not the color they used to be. And I just, I just noticed that that Foxtel remote is completely covered in splatters of white paint. Just adds to the 
adds to its um, charm, I guess you could say. <laughs> so tucking in these little tabs and I'll go through and take them all down. Do I pause it for you or do I make you sit through it? I think I make you sit through it, sorry. Anywho, let's get chatting. So, oh, that was a little dance. Oh, I'm dance. I'm listening to music. So if you see me dancing, that's what's going on here. I'm listening to rap music while I scrap. Anywho, let's chat. So I am going to film a face-to-face -face video this week. Um, I've got some exciting things in the works, doing a few things, and I don't think I can tell you about them yet. No, I can't. But I just want to have a face-to-face -face chat with you all because I feel like I haven't face-to-faced -face you for a while. So yeah, look out for that one this week. And Aaron and I have been pumping out the vlogs over on our vlog channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rad, if you want to have a bit of a laugh at our, um, our stupid faces because we pull them a lot. <gasps> Look at this. I was so proud of this. I kind of detested those triangles. I just don't do triangles. I don't know how to make them work. So what I did is I cut tabs out of them and made them into a shape that I could work with. Do you know what? I probably could have worked with the triangles if they were all the same triangle shape, but they weren't because I couldn't put them in a like in a pattern where they joined together because they didn't match and I couldn't use them for bunting because they were too wide and it was just I couldn't work with them. I just couldn't. But this worked well. So keep that in mind. If you've got embellishments, you can always punch them into different embellishments. I really do have to do an embellishment series. I will do that. I will do that one of these days. <laughs> oh dear. So just adding up, oh, yep, there's some gangster hands going on there, some gangster dance moves. Using that camera, I swear I put that on like every layout that I did and I took it off again and I put it back on and I took it back off. And I don't think I actually put it on a layout until maybe my one of my couple of last ones. Yeah, I don't think I did. And um, this layout really has no mixed media. So ignore the fact that I said it was Mixed Media Monday because it's not. It's just an extra little surprise one. So I hope you've all had a wonderful week. Sorry, this video is a little bit late. I had a busy weekend. I had a staff development day on Saturday, which <sighs> wasn't fabulous because it was Saturday and I was at school. Um, but we had that and then Aaron had to go and style a wedding by himself solo because I was at work. So that was fun and then on Sunday we had to go and collect all of the goodies that we hired out so this is peak wedding season so like I said before um, my I'm working seven days a week until Christmas so busy busy so fitting in as many videos I, as I can but like I said they might be I'm still going to have them on the same day they might just not be up at seven o'clock in the morning Australian time as they usually are I'll try I'm about to do the voiceover for Wednesday's one, so that should be up too at the right time. I love that jar and it was just perfect because on our tables we had all of these little jars that I so painfully peeled all of the stickers off and used glue gone or undo or whatever that glue gonk remover stuff is um, and had little tea like candles and flowers that my friends and I um, organized and put in there. It was just really really cute and I feel like I feel like this is now the in thing and it's frustrating because there's so many people that uh, hire this type of stuff out but when I did it two years ago it wasn't a huge in thing so <laughs> it's not fair but I guess if it had been the in thing then I could have found someone to hire it and then I wouldn't have bought all the things and I wouldn't have our hello vintage hire business then would I and Aaron wouldn't have the joys of working on the weekend would you Aaron <laughs> he's laughing very sarcastically yep not a drop of mixed media there so let's delete this mixed media I don't know why it's titled mixed media Monday anywho this is it it's done and I really like it it's a bit of a playful one and Oh, what's that? No, no. I don't know what I was no knowing then. I really like the little tabs. I feel like they give those strips some extra dimension. A bit of an embellishment cluster down here. Always like a good embellishment cluster. 
and some gold Heidi shine. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for a Project Life Grab 5 video on Wednesday and I will probably upload a face-to-face -face sometime this week. Thanks for watching. Bye!